The head of the Border Patrol, who just retired, said Joe Biden hasn't talked to him once. Jimmy doesn't explain how Joe Biden, talking to the head of the Border Patrol, would solve anything. This is just a non sequitur to avoid the fact that Republicans, who Jimmy now stumps for, are holding up the border bill that Biden said he would sign. This bipartisan bill was negotiated by conservative Republicans like Senator James Lankford and endorsed by the National Border Control Council. Time to be able to review it. The National Border Patrol Council, the group that's actually on the ground trying to manage the chaos, they read through the bill and evaluated it. And the National Border Patrol Council gave this statement. The Border Patrol Act of 2024 will give the United States Border Patrol agents authorities codified in law that we have not had in the past. Jimmy Dore recently responded to an accusation that he changed his tune on immigration. For those of you who've kept track, his old complaint was about people being detained at the border kids in cages, that sort of thing. Now he's repeating the right-wing tropes about us having an open border, which of course can't be the case if we're detaining people who are crossing. Now we're about to see how he responds to the accusation even though he doesn't really address his 180. This example serves as a perfect microcosm of how Jimmy keeps his audience in the dark with lies of omission. Jimmy will gaslight his audience into thinking that Joe Biden is not only doing nothing about the border situation, but giving immigrants money while doing nothing about homelessness. If you're outside the echo chamber and doing your own research, you know that Joe Biden has already pledged to sign a border package bill that was designed largely by conservative Republicans and endorsed by the National Border Control Council, a bill that is now being held up by Senate Republicans because Trump doesn't want to see this bill passed because he wants to run on the border crisis, not see it fixed. You're probably also aware that the Biden administration has given record amounts of money towards homelessness and has also passed bills to help veterans. This is important because it demonstrates that the empty platitudes about Jimmy just asking questions are based on the fallacy that these are questions without answers, when in fact they are assertions that are demonstrably false. In this case, the supposed question is how come we have open borders, are giving all of this money to immigrants while not helping veterans and the homeless. Those questions are based on false assertions, and understanding this is a quick Google search away. But Jimmy maintains this low information echo chamber where he feeds his audience curated tidbits of mostly false information, who in turn think they've been red pilled when they're just being gaslit and even lied to. In any case, let's get started. But before we do that, don't forget to click like and subscribe. So blank slate says that's you want me to talk. Right? Yeah, that's the one. So I blank says Jimmy, your flipped position on immigration is hypocritical, especially since you called AOC out for her inconsistency on immigration policy. Do you want government? Okay, um, I can see where you would say that. Uh, it's become clear. I used to uh, think more along the lines of AOC, uh, but it's become clear to me that this open border policy is intentional and it's coming from the billionaire donor class that runs everything and uh i'm not demonizing the immigrant i'm demonizing the system that creates the first off notice how jimmy never displays the super chats nor does he seem to read their full context unlike content creators like destiny david pacman and sam Sater, where you can see or hear everything they have to say i'm willing to bet that the super chatter was going to point out that Jimmy went from slamming Biden for the kids in cages thing, which is a leftist critique, to pivoting to the right-wing talking point about open borders. Now, you can't complain about these at the same time. Do we have open borders, or do we have a situation where migrants attempting to cross the border are being detained? Obviously, it's the latter. But Jimmy, since he now panders to the right, is using right-wing talking points but throwing in the words donor class to keep however many naive leftists who still watch him satisfied. For all we know, this super chatter included all of this in their critiques, but Jimmy stopped short of reading that portion. People leaving that country and coming here, and then Joe Biden not doing anything to, and then when they get here, giving them a debit card for $1,000, $51 million in one city alone. 
So Jimmy stopped short of making a full sentence, out of Joe Biden allegedly not doing anything. This suggests that Jimmy knows about the bipartisan border bill that Joe Biden has sworn to sign once it hits his desk, but is now all but dead at the behest of Trump, who urged Senate Republicans to turn it down. Why? Because Trump doesn't want to see the border problem solved, he wants to weaponize border chaos for his own political gain. And furthermore, Jimmy takes the instance where New York City Mayor Eric Adams signed off on giving immigrants $53 million in prepaid cards, an instance which is a total outlier and decided by one mayor for his city alone to imply that this is something decided at the federal level and that this is somehow widespread. In doing so, Jimmy keeps his audience uninformed as to how and why things really happen and thinking that everything is decided by some amorphous blob called the establishment. Right in the face of, the, of homeless veterans, right in the face of the 40% of homeless people who have jobs, right in their fucking face. As Cat Williams said on Joe Rogan, they're saying this is what we could be doing. Look at what we could be doing. So Jimmy uses the Mayor Eric Adams anomaly to pretend that this is a national program that's being implemented in the face of homeless veterans and the homeless in general. The implication here is that nothing is being done for these two when in fact, the Biden administration just awarded $3.16 billion in homelessness assistance funding to communities nationwide. The House America Initiative has an ambitious goal to reduce homelessness by 25%. Since being inaugurated, Biden has passed 30 bills aimed at helping veterans, including the PACT ACT, which expanded benefits and services for veterans exposed to toxic substances. This is on top of programs already in existence that help homeless people and veterans. There is literally a deluge of bills being passed aimed to help people, which Jimmy never covers, because he's not interested in informing his audience. He's pushing a narrative that requires that he omit virtually all relevant facts and stick to feeding his audience lies of omission. So uh, she's not she hasn't come around to my point of view. Um, she's just ignoring they're still putting people in camps and all those things that she but uh, they, they have a, a flooded border. Ah, so now it's a flooded border, not an open border. Jimmy's attempt to both pander to the right while pretending to criticize the Democrats from the left leaves Jimmy contradicting himself in the same video. <clears throat> and uh, so she so she has she's the one who's just completely dropped the issue. I haven't dropped it. I have new information has 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 come to my attention. And when new information comes, I've changed my position on this and my opinion because of this new information how many people need to go to the border for you to realize and show you how many people rfk elon musk uh joe biden himself uh the border patrol i'll show you a video i'll show you later in the show the head of the border patrol who just retired said joe biden hasn't talked to him once jimmy doesn't explain how joe biden talking to the head of the border patrol would solve anything this is just a non sequitur to avoid the fact that Republicans, who Jimmy now stumps for, are holding up the border bill that Biden said he would sign. This bipartisan bill was negotiated by conservative Republicans like Senator James Lankford and endorsed by the National Border Control Council. Time to be able to review it. The National Border Patrol Council, the group that's actually on the ground trying to manage the chaos, they read through the bill and evaluated it. And the National Border Patrol Council gave this statement. The Border Patrol Act of 2024 will give the United States Border Patrol agents authorities codified in law that we have not had in the past. While not perfect, and I'll agree with him on that, the Border Patrol Act of 2024 is a step in the right direction and it is far better than the current status quo. This is why the National Border Patrol Council endorses this bill and hopes for its quick passage. And here we come, once again to a situation where it's Republicans who are blocking progress and blaming Democrats for the lack of progress and fake leftists like Jimmy who are repeating the narrative. Jimmy Dore is literally doing Trump's bidding because he is Donald Trump's puppet.